This week started off a little bit interesting. Oh, the tire of regret. Should have read that. Turn, turn it. So you can see it for you. Jeez, I almost want to turn the hose on. Just yeah, see. we're turning the hose on to clean. Here, get a, get a good shot of the awesome. Oh, I wore white too. I know you did wear white. That was a terrible mistake. Although that may not have looked like much, it took it out of Glenn and I. We decided that was enough for Monday. Wow. Went to Wednesday with deadlifts. Started off with the idea we wanted to pull something heavy. We put 475 in our minds. So this is the first set with 475. Glenn got a single there. He was pretty happy with that. And I managed to pull a couple of reps. I'm not too happy with the speed on this, but it still feels like it's good to be back with the normal bar despite the fact it's hurting my hands. It feels like I didn't lose much in technique, and pulling a triple, that is something that I was doing for a couple of sets when I set my last PR of 550. So, hopefully didn't lose too much. We did a couple more sets of that, just doing singles. Now this right here, I put this in a video because I wanted to go over this with you guys and, and recommend this. If you have a lifting partner, put something on there that's heavy but not so heavy that you are going to fail after two or three reps. We used four plates, 405, and Glenn would pull, I would pull back and forth and the idea is you continue to do this until you both fail or you hit 10 reps and we've talked about doing this many times it's really nice because you get to focus on doing that single because you get that short break in between you uh, get to do more reps I mean 405 6 or 7 is the most I've ever done with 405 in one set However, because we pulled this so many times, it really took it out of our hands. This is the first time that I've had actual skin tear off my hand. Got Glenn a lot worse than it did me. But I was really happy how this went. It Again, focusing on getting set, getting a good single despite being fatigued and we both got 10 reps so that was good I didn't think we were gonna be able to do yeah. that however here's the 10th rep Pretty you can strong. see Glenn's really fatigued uh, we are glistening with sweat 
Uh, it is just taking a lot of effort to finish that. So Glenn with his last rep, he slammed that down hard enough. He knocked his glasses off the chair. And here's me on my last rep. Again, looking to see here how are we going to hold up doing that many pulls with 405 despite the fact that it's not anywhere close to a max it's still a decent amount of weight but look I, I pulled it exactly how I did the first one so no form breakdown no loss of technique that was a really good thing to see now on to benching this is the top set we worked up to 265 this time just wanted to do something a little bit heavier Glenn there with the second rep kind of stalled out on the way up I still can't bench without a slingshot so I get to do more reps because of that still the same weight 265 and uh, it started bothering me a little bit I was just trying to pause it a little bit on the bottom so I'm not going to as much rebound out of it and Friday didn't happen so we moved it to Saturday this was an awesome Saturday for Glenn. He right there started it off with 355. That is the first time he has successfully squatted that with good form even in two years. And he went to 375. Look, although it was slow, he still got it. And then it went to me. I decided I'm just going to go right to 455 after warming up. Although I'm not happy with the speed, that went up pretty smooth. I was happy. I went into this workout saying I wanted to hit 455 for a single, and I did it. So there's that. Glenn attempted 405, had some technique issues, and he lost it. But then he came back and hit this 385. And uh, you can see him starting to lean forward there, which is normally where he loses it, but he corrected himself. He corrected it and finished it, so that's really good. And I decided to go for 475. Look at that. It just went up very slow. So definitely need to work on the speed there. And then we decided to make a terrible decision. We put 315 on the bar, and the idea is he goes, I go. Um, there's no rest in between when we're switching. Uh, I decided to edit that stuff out or else this would have been a very, very long video. But Glenn went as many reps as he could, making sure that he kept every rep with good technique, making sure he wasn't falling forward, making sure he was keeping his chest up. You can see he starts leaning there and he calls it because we don't want to have any sort of technique breakdown. And I just walk in behind him. The problem here is we decided to do three sets. And that means a lot of reps for both of us. Um, and after doing those heavy squats, this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. For those of you who haven't seen it, I did do a Arnold squat challenge. I got challenged uh, last year. 315 for 36 reps in under 15 minutes this was way harder than that I did that fresh and it felt pretty terrible after doing the 475 my quads just did not want to do this at all so the first set I went for 10 reps and got it and then we just decided the last to just go as many as you can. I got five for each, and, and Glenn went down in his reps. Oh, so I'm going to speed that up now so you can see the last two sets.